Hello, thank you. Uh, thank you for referring to me. Uh, I actually have a question to uh, Petr Tipana. <laughs> but uh, I, I think uh, his, his uh, compatriots from uh, Swami can uh, respond. And uh, that's a question actually from, uh, uh, from two weeks ago from uh, Tina Tuomala. And uh, that was, and, and it's really critically important. Um, I understand there are standards, and it's important for everybody, actually, in the room, because uh, Andre is correct, economics matter. And uh, so the question is, looking forward also in Finland, uh, when Tina showed two weeks ago that the 56 volts that you can buy from the store at the same quality, for 160 euros. But because of the documentation developed by ULE guidelines and, um, and uh, standardization, so to say, or without so to say, is, is 20,000 euros the cost. Is that absolutely necessary for next five years, for next 10 years in Finland? but also in other uh, countries that definitely have to do it like that. And if the answer is yes, then we don't need to spend more time here. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> okay if I shortly reply on that, the answer is yes. <laughs> so we want, want to change this. Mr. Tipana was referring to a so-called Kelpo project that we have been going on for two years. So all the power companies are sitting in the same table, and Stuck is as an observer at the table with us. We want to change the change the world, uh, as you described. So we want to get more off the shelf. Like in Oculus 3, there's 15,000 valves. So we want to buy standard valves that the oil and gas industry, for example, is currently using. We have a major facility, in a oil refining facility in, a, in Porvo. Uh, and they, uh, we are sharing, for example, their experiences. Of course, the quality in the oil and gas industry is very high, but they are standard components. Why are we not able to use the same? So that's what... Uh, and uh, next year we're moving into a practical level on this project already, so we, we will put our, uh, we will try to harmonize our, our systems, our, our way of uh, communicating with the suppliers. So we will have a similar concept, uh, similar papers, and uh, also we want to be just a normal buyer of uh, high quality components. But it's not very simple, of course, it's a major change in the industry that if we... But the thing is that we sit today already, we have been sitting at the same table and looking for, looking the answer for that. And uh, we are moving forward <laughs> next, next year to move from pilot projects into, into operational level more. And we are very happy to share this. There's a working group in Poratom. We are sharing this. It's a, we are sharing these experiences and want to harmonize these procedures with other nuclear companies. So, so but we call it bottom up. So, we want to change these practices here and then show the, the regulator and uh, that we can improve the quality, improve the safety, and do it more efficiently. And it also will help the supply chain companies because if you can get rid of the uh, requirements that are not actually needed, they don't have to do the extra work. And uh, there could be risk that some suppliers cannot supply anymore if, if their requirements are too high for them. Yes, exactly. It's just a, the idea. Idea is that there is, if there is a supplier, we are just a normal customer for them. There's nothing special. So if there's ad additional requirements needed, like an earthquake or something, so we can we can have these special additional tests by ourselves or of the third, third party, but we want to be a normal customer 
easy customer for the suppliers in the future. Do I get this on? Excellent. Hi. Uh, thank you, panelists, for the excellent discussions. I'm Olli Sappela from the Finnish Eco Modernist Society, and I would like to ask about the uh, effect of interest rates in the capex of nuclear power plants. Since it seems that the interest rates have now stuck very low, and since it's a significant component in the new construction projects, does this situation enable now better situation for new nuclear projects in Europe? This uh, situation of low interest rates, and is there a level of interest rates that should be an alarming trigger somehow for the industry to start looking at possibly backing off from the plans of new investments. Okay, uh, um, a short answer to that question is that of course the interest rate uh, has a tremendous effect on the total cost of electricity production. For example, we have done uh, a sensitivity analysis of our project uh, let's say that what is the effect on the on the final cost of per megawatt hour if the plant is delayed or if the actual cost in billion billions of euros uh, goes up by a certain amount or if the interest rate for the capital goes up and uh, the result is that the uh, biggest effect by far is with the if the interest rate of the capital the cost of capital uh, goes up this has the biggest impact so of course, this uh, in in uh, such a capital-intensive industry has a uh, has a big role, but you always also have to remember that in the market, even if the current interest rates are down, it, it, these type of projects are not uh, are quite uh, as you have mentioned, they are quite complex to finance and are often refinanced, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we cannot loan money usually with with the same cost as, for example, the Finnish state or the German state uh, can loan, which sometimes can be even with a negative interest for us. This would be an excellent uh, situation if we had an interest rate that is, uh, that is negative. But this poses a problem because uh, we don't use state capital at all, uh, or state aid in, in any ways. But uh, maybe in some other countries, if the EU Commission uh, approves it, something uh, of this sort, as was mentioned yesterday in, uh, in the case of UK, that it's possible to find a financing uh, solution that further uh, gets benefit from the low interest rates. That is, of course, a, a benefit. But as you have mentioned, uh, for us currently, the the biggest issue is the taxonomy. Uh, that we want to have a level playing field for uh, for nuclear as well, because if, if we exclude nuclear from the uh, sustainable finance, it can have a tremendous uh, effect on the cost of capital of nu nuclear power plants across Europe. And of course, uh, we don't want that, even though in Fennovoima's case, the, uh, the capital comes mostly from our uh, plant supplier. But it, 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 we do not want to limit the availability of, uh, of financing in the sector uh, as a whole. If I may to add, I, I think, uh, thank you very much uh, for the question, because I think the factor of <coughs> capex and interest rate is tremendous importance, has a tremendous importance. The importance on the whole nuclear industry can even kill it if uh, it continues uh, in the way it could have been organized uh, if you talk about taxonomy. And uh, I'm talking about our, uh, our professional experience in working with the foreign suppliers. If you take an example of Finnafoima, you have three main system in nuclear plant, nuclear island, conventional island, and INC system. It's an instrumentation and control system. So uh, two of them uh, are supposed to be supplied by French companies, uh, Alstom acquired by GE, they're supposed to supply a turbine, and uh, INC is supposed to be supplied by Framatom. And the way we work with them uh, is technology we choose, and coming back to the first question, uh, we can modulate uh, our participation by choosing specific models for each country and 
use standardized, uh, mature technological decisions like you know uh, turbine, Arabel, or INC from Atom with Siemens in order to avoid a lot of risk. And that's one choice, technology, mature technology, uh, well known all around the world. And the second choice is uh, financial guarantees. Because you know, BPI France, it's an agency which is supposed to provide financial guarantees support this project. And we received uh, support letters uh, from them regarding the, our finished project. And for us it's very critical uh, because uh, together with the mature, well-known technology, we can get finance which can tremendously influence uh, the capex, as you said, of the whole project. So it's very important and it will be even more important in the future. And countries like Germany, like Germany for instance, you know, they decided to phase out, but at the same time they decided not to finance their uh, nuclear projects all around the world. And it hardly influenced the participation of German, unfortunately, the German companies in, in our project, because for us, economics does matter, as it, is what it was said. So, very important. Thanks for your question. So, I think we are about to stop this panel and have a coffee break. <laughs> so, thank you for all the panelists. For your good work.